it guys welcome back to Ron's Rides welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where it is pretty windy here today at Maserati Alfa Romeo of Daytona Beach but the wind doesn't matter because I had to get on camera for the first time the new 2020 Alfa Romeo Stelvio TI Lusso all-wheel drive now this all-wheel drive Lusso is the first of its kind for 2020 and it has a couple of new things on it that you guys need to see now one of the things that I need to talk about is its price it is the highest price Stelvio currently on the lot so far. We'll tell you why in just a moment. We'll break down all the prices and everything like that. But this has a $2,500 TI Lusso kit on it. Now, if you don't know what Lusso means, it's luxury. So this is the luxury model of the Stelvio. So you'll see what makes it different over such models as the standard or sport. And then there's also a $3,250 driver assistance package on it which you guys probably are curious about as well. When I said this Alfa Romeo had a $3,250 driver assistance package, there's a few reasons why there. They added a couple of things that's going to make this car crucial to safety. So it has a couple of different sensors on it, like the front mid-range radar sensor for object detection and monitoring and traffic ahead. So you have that on the left-hand side. Also, you have the active driver support electric power steering and you have the lane marking detection on the multi-purpose camera right up top here. So it does add a new camera right up top for that. So with that, it has highway assist, which is part of that level two autonomous driving, where you have longitudinal and lateral control for a safe, comfortable driving experience. I showed you guys a brief video of this car already before it was PDI'd and detailed and ready for the lot. You guys got it just as it came into the dealership before everything was checked out. Now it's nice and clean. As you can see, the stickers and everything are off. Um, I wanted to show it to you because I showed you guys the new sport wheels, the 20 inch sport wheels that are new for 2020 for the Stelvio. So now you guys see those, all right? And then you see the Vesuvio gray metallic paint. This is a $600 paint job for this metallic gray. As you guys can see, it looks phenomenal in the Florida sun. The sun is not out as much as it usually is, but you can definitely see the depth and the color in the Vesuvio gray. Standard, pretty much what you would normally see in these Stelvios, all right? Same aluminum grill up front, same by 9 headlights, all right? You do have the metallic paint, but for the Lusso model, all right? You do have automatically gloss black calipers with white script. Any Lusso model, no matter what kind of wheel it has, will come with that specific caliper color combo, all right? So you do have that for your Brembo brake calipers. Then we briefly talked about it the 20 inch sport wheel. This is new for 2020, all right? It's a different style from the 19 inch wheel that you guys thought I was talking about. For instance, this is a 19 inch wheel. You guys see this one's a little bit more of a matte color, all right? The circles are a little bit more defined here, all right? There's not kind of like that same kind of glossy black material here. As you can see, it's coming up like a gray color, all right? You can see the 19 inch wheels are a little bit different than those 20 inch wheels. The 20 inch wheels are a little bit more sportier, a little bit more flashier than the 19 inch five hole wheels compared. But I just wanted to show you guys right up close so you can see the color differences between these two because you can see this here and then see the 20 inch wheel here. So you see the big difference here. It's definitely a lot more flashy for the 20 inch model. Now, like I said, with those Brembo brakes, you do have the nice continental tires, 20 inch wheel, and you have the Alfa Romeo Insignia center cap right in the middle. Also with this Stelvio, you do have the body color appearance kit, which makes the Stelvio look a lot more classier with the color match wheel wells here, all right? So the wheel wells are not done in the plastic black and the side skirts are not done in the plastic black as well. You have it in the body color, the Suvio paint. So it just meshes so much better together. Then you also have the aluminum window moldings going to surround, all right? And you have the aluminum roof rails right up top as well. All right, so then we'll move along to the rear of the Stelvio. With that body color appearance kit, you also have the back bumper that is done in the body match color. So it is not done in the black plastic, all right? You do have the Vesuvio gray body molding on the rear balance all the way across. And then check out the diffuser here, done in the aluminum trim the chrome tips. You'll get those on any normal model, but with the Nitto it is the only package, you're gonna get it blacked out. Same with the Stelvio badging there. All right, instead of it having it blacked out for the Nitto package, you'll have it in the chrome. Now with that said, 
that's pretty much it that you're really seeing on a Lusa model on the outside. Again, the biggest dead giveaway is the black calipers with the white script. All right, so stepping inside of the 2020 Alfro Male Stelvio TI Lusso all-wheel drive. You can tell this is where the options come in. You can tell that this is where the price and luxury comes in by just stepping inside. There's a couple of great things here that I need to point out that you guys are going to love. Now, the biggest thing, this steering wheel. The plastic piece that is normally in the center here that has been new for 2020 is something that I've complained about because I don't get what its purpose is and it doesn't really look that well aesthetically. Well, for the Lusso, they actually took the time to make this gloss black instead of plastic. That is incredible. I'm glad that they paid attention to that because if they're going to have it, okay, we can't complain about it. Gloss it up make it look more classy because it's going to match the surround here with the start button as well all right so you get the gloss black start button surround and then you have obviously your trim going all the way around the buttons here and the steering wheel airbag all right but now it all matches together with the start button with this black centerpiece i don't even know what to call it but they have it on here as part of that package to be painted now if you get the quadrifolio models which we haven't seen yet but when you get the quadrifolio models this is actually in carbon fiber, this piece here. So you have the carbon fiber quadrifolio models, you have the Lusso gloss black models, and everything else is plastic. Okay, inside of the 2020 Sport, you can see it's plastic here. All right, you can see that the buttons around here is in plastic as well for the start stop engine button. All right, but for the Lusso, you guys saw it. Gloss black and gloss black. So I do like that. Um, it's just a small change, but it makes a heck of a difference. You'll also notice that there's no perforated leather here, all right? Not like the sport models. Your leather here is sectioned off, so you can see that it's another formed piece, but there's no perforated leather. You just have the stitching going all the way throughout, all right, which is the contrasted stitching. So, um, you know, I don't know if I feel like this should have perforated leather because it just looks kind of like... Um, you know, pieces are just kind of added on when it's just the same as the outer piece. You know, with the perforated leather, at least you knew that right here is where it was different from the actual steering wheel. Um, same with the quadrifolio model. Inside of here will be Alcantara. So Alcantara will be here, and then you have the leather and carbon fiber, everything for the quadrifolio steering wheel for 2020. But you'll notice those differences there. So that's the first thing you see is the gloss black surround and the leather on the steering wheel. Now, this has a couple of packages on it because it's the Lusso model. So, you know, you got to make it look good, right? All right. Upper dash, extended leather package, all leather dash. I mean, all the way throughout this. And you have the contrasted stitching. Get a little closer there. You see it all the way throughout as well. So leather upper dash and the contrasted stitching. And then that leather dash goes over to the door. The upper door is done in leather as well. So wrapped in leather here and you have the contrasted stitching. All right, you do have the nice wood trim as well, which is part of that Lusso package. And then you also have, I'll open this up, the Harman Kardon surround system, all right? So your sound system done with the Harman Kardon. So when you add all of this together, upper doors and leather, wood trim, Harman Kardon sound, it's just a great combo together. So then we pull this in, we come back to the steering wheel, go back over the dash, we see the nice big wood slab going throughout here as well, all right? And then you do go down and you see the nice wood trim covering the cup holders there and all throughout the new center console, the seats, the cannoli leather that is in the Lusso seats, probably the most comfortable seat that Alpha makes. When you talk about seats for Alpha, you talk about the standard seating, you talk about the sport seating, all right, and you even talk about the carbon fiber bucket seats for the quadrifolio models or the Alcantara seats, comfort seats for the quadrifolio models. Sat in all of them before plenty of times. The cannoli seats for the luxury model are the way to go, all right? So you have the nice stitching around the Alfa Romeo insignia here, right on the headrest. And then you have the wonderful stitching going all the way throughout the cannoli seating. You can see the pads and the different plushes of leather here. They just make it comfortable. It looks comfortable, but when you sit in it, this is something that you're really gonna love. I mean, so many different adjustables to this. They add for the um, you know cannoli seats and for the Lusso that they just really cater to the driver that's gonna be spending a lot of time in the cockpit here. And I really love this. And this is just a subtle spec 
you know, dark wood with black interior. It's not a lot, you know, to it as far as flash and flare, but it has all the comforts and everything that you need. Now, you guys thought I lied when I said that they give me these things with no fuel. <laughs> so, we'll do a driving video of this pretty soon because this thing is always out of fuel. When they get the new vehicles, obviously, they come with no fuel. That shows you how new this is. I mean, 12 miles on it. So, yeah, it's, you know, not a lot of fuel to do a drive right this second. But you'll also notice the new button here for the lane keeping assist. All right, you also have active blind spot assist and you have traffic jam assist as well. So you have a smart, intelligent traffic jam where you can, you know, make sure your distance is a certain amount away from the car in front of you where it will slow down and speed back up depending on not just a smart cruise control, but traffic jam that is in regular traffic as well. All right, and then with your lane keep assist, obviously if you're going over the lines over the road, it's going to use the steering wheel and bring you back over to wherever you need to be and center you out. All right, so after sitting you out, well, hey, your blind spot. Somebody comes up on the side of you. You have your blind spot triangle there in the mirror. All right, that's going to go off, and then it's also going to direct you back to the side you need to be so you don't change lanes when there's a car right there. Now, it only obviously activates when you have your blinker on. That's when the blind spot kicks in because it knows you're going to change lanes. Now, when your blinker's off, the car's already gonna move you back over because the lane keep assist. So it knows that you're not trying to go over, so it's gonna move you back. And then when the blinker's on, it knows you're gonna to try to go over, but there's gonna be a car in your way. So you'll get all different kinds of warnings that you can have for this car. Now we said the buttons are here as well. You do also have your lane keep assist button there that you guys have been used to on the older models, but it was a lane departure warning then because obviously you know you just had the warning you didn't have a level two autonomous driving so they've added a slur of things and it's really cool to see we'll take it out in the full drive but i just have to show you a couple of things and i'll show you on the screen as well if you guys haven't seen my deep dive on the new touch screen for alfa romeo in 2020 make sure you check that out because i go through everything that is in here as far as what's new but we're looking at the driver assistance system today because we have a couple of different options now. All right, so let's dig a little deeper into it because I already see stuff like the traffic sign recognition there. All right, I see the auto on for the lights. So this is new stuff for us because we haven't seen these in any of the other alphas because they have not had that active driver assistance package that is $3,250. Big number there, but you can see there's a couple of different things on here now. So one of the biggest things is You'll see the active blind spot assist. Now that is going to, as I mentioned earlier, pull you back in line. If you had your blinker on about to change lanes, Alpha detects the car, it will light up your triangle on your mirror, and it will kind of give you a nice little jerk to the side to make sure that, hey, there's somebody in your spot, you need to get back over your lane, don't think about changing lanes. You can turn it on or off, and you can change the settings, so you can do only warning instead of it moving you, just warn you, or you can do warning and keeping, so that means it's gonna warn you and it's going to move you. You have your visual type there, you have your visual and acoustic, or you can have visual and vibration. So you can get it to vibrate, show you, and move you. So you can do a lot of things there to just keep you safe. Um, let's go back there. You also have your lane keep assist. We've seen that before. Lane keep assist will just make sure that, hey, you're going off your lane, let me turn on, all right? You know, just, hey, let you know that you know, you might want to uh, go back in your lane. So this one has warning and keeping. All right, so warning and keeping is new because now it actually moves you, all right? Again, with the new steering setup, it can actually move you and take control of the car. So you have warning and keeping, or you have what we had in the older models, just warning, all right? It never really, you know, moved you. It was more of a lane departure warning more than an assist. You have your warning type, acoustic and vibration, you have a visual and vibration or visual and acoustic. So a couple different setups there. You also have your sensitivity. You can have it move you late or have it move you early or warn you late, warn you early and your strength be high or low. All right, then we let go back there. Talk about four collision warning. We've talked about this before, but just to let you know, if you do your four collision warning, you turn it on or off. If you are about to smack right into the back of a vehicle, all right, your speed does not match theirs. You're going faster. They are not moving as fast as you are. The car is going to realize that, hey, a collision may occur. So it's going to warn you 
and then it's going to put brakes on the vehicle to stop you all right or you can just make it give you a warning and then it's going to be up to you um you have the sensitivity on medium near or far that's one of those things you don't really don't want to test out it's like an airbag you know you have it but you don't want to ever have to use it driver attention assist is new as well just letting you know hey um you need to take a break all right it'll let you know over here hey take a break You've been driving for a while, you've been on the road, you know, you got this road trip going on and you've been at the wheel for, you know, seven hours now. Maybe it's time you take a break. So you got standard or high for the sensitivity. You can turn that on or off. And then you have your traffic sign recognition. This is new. All right, so you can turn that on or off. Just let you know different traffic signs, whether it's warnings, whether it's speed limits, everything like that. You have a blinking, you have an offset there. You can see where it shows you the different kind of signs they provide. Obviously, this is in Italian, not in Italian, but these are Italian traffic signs, but it shows you the regular signs. If I were to move over here, you can see right there in the right hand corner. Can you get it? Can we zoom in? There we go. You'll see the 30, 30 mile per hour speed limit sign there. Going back to the screen here, you do have your speed limiter in case you want to limit your speed. We've seen that before and your parking sensors. All right. So you have your parking sensors on or off. You can do the parking sensor display for sound and display. All right, you can do parking sensor volume or for that mode, you can also do just sound. All right, so it doesn't have to make any display, but just show you that and you're good. I mean, backup camera, uh, we've seen that before. Not the best backup camera. Again, we'll talk more about that in a separate video, but it's, it's there. So you can do your camera delay, you can do your camera guidelines, and you can do your actual camera. Um, which is there on the side. I wish it was full screen. Again, we'll talk about that again um, at another time. And um, then we have automatic high beam, which is new for 2020 as well for this package. All right, so you got your high beams on or off for automatic. That's pretty much it. It's just part of that driver assistance package to help keep you safe. Hanging out in the back seat of the Stelvio Lusso. You know, it gets the same love in the back as it does up front. You get the same leather uppers as far as your doors here with the contrasted stitching and the dark oak wood you get the same and i'll move over here so you guys can see it that same soft cannoli leather all right the luxury leather all right same kind of stitching in the headrest no alpha male insignia in the headrest in the back but that's okay we still have the nice soft leather for your passengers to get comfortable all right you have the net right here for storage you have your two hvac vents the fighter jet hvac vents and you have your two USB ports under there with a couple of extra storage spaces. You also have in the center your cup holders. So we pull down this nice leather and we have the cup holders right there for you guys as well. But other than that, I mean, same nice little soft touches, same nice feeling, same quality. It's just, you know, kicking it in the back seat, relaxing and enjoying the view really of what's in front of you. So let's talk about this 2020 Alfa Romeo TI Lusso all wheel drive. All right, the price is going to be a big thing here because it has some heavy options on it. So we kind of want to see why it costs what it costs and why it's one of our most expensive on the lot. But what also is missing to make it a little bit more expensive and put it over the top. So right here, it starts life at forty five thousand seven hundred and forty five US dollars. After your additional equipment, you're looking at a total price after destination charge of fifty five thousand seven hundred and ninety dollars. Now that's not too bad, but this car is actually missing, and I don't want to say missing, but it is not optioned with a sunroof, which is $1,350, all right? So now you're looking at, I mean, that's what, 56, well, about $57,000. And then say you add the Russell Competition paint, which is a $2,200 paint, or a Trofeo White, which is a $2,200 paint. Then you're looking at $59,000, $60,000, depending on. There's a couple of different things that could really set this off as far as price. Now, I'm not exactly sure if you can do all those options with the specific Lusso kit, all right? I know you can't do carbon um, exterior with the Lusso kit, um, but I'm not sure with interior and how you can mesh and match that, but you can at least get this thing to about $60,000 US dollars before taxes. So. What makes it so special? Well, let's talk about those additional options. So you get the Vesuvio gray metallic paint for $600. You also get the TI all-wheel drive package, which is a TI Lusso package, and that's new for 2020 because it's a new setup. So you get the leather dash upper and doors, all right, that leather top. You get the 19 inch 10 spoke aluminum wheels, which we have the 20s, and we'll check that out in just a second. We have the satin aluminum window moldings for the round. We have the aluminum roof rails. 
We have the luxury leather trim seats for the cannoli leather, the bright aluminum pedals, all right. We also have the eight-way power adjustable driver seat, the eight-way power adjustable passenger seat as well, and check this out, the techno leather luxury steering wheel, all right. So that leather steering wheel that I was talking about with the gloss black surrounds, all right, and the leather right here on the inside, that is called techno leather, all right. So that's an actual package, part of that TI Lusso package, which is new for 2020. All right, then you have the Active Driver Assist TI Lusso package. That is $3,250 for the driver assistance package. 8.8 inch .8 touchscreen with the AM FM HD navigation, so you get navigation right off the back with this. Highway assist system, traffic jam assist system, lane keep assist system, active blind spot assist, traffic sound recognition, driver attention alert system, adaptive cruise control with stop, automatic dimming exterior mirrors, automatic high beam headlight control, infrared windshield, and the luxury steering wheel. All right, so luxury steering wheel right there, the gloss black. You have the luxury steering wheel and you have the techno leather steering wheel. Now with that said, we're not done yet. 14 inch speaker Harman Kardon surround system. All right, that premium system, $900. You also have the wireless charging pad, which is new for 2020, $200. All right, and then those 20 inch sport hole aluminum wheels, $750 to add on to the Lusso package. Now, if you were to add it to another car, it may be a little bit more expensive, but for the Lusso package, it takes it down a little bit. Now, the gloss black calipers with white script comes with that Lusso package. And then your hands free power lift gate with your Alpha Connect for one year. After your destination charge of $1,295. You're looking at 55,790 US dollars with a four year warranty, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper, powertrain, four years, 50,000 miles, and your fuel economy, premium fuel only at a combined city and highway of 24 with 22 city and 28 highway. Now, standard options. Gotta go over that, right? Make sure you guys see everything that comes standard. So, Vesuvio Gray with this car, black interior, luxury leather trim seats. You have your 2 liter, 280 horsepower, turbocharged inline 4 engine with the HB ZF transmission, and then everything that comes standard with this car. Remote start, backup camera, also have your carbon drive shaft, all right, your Alpha DNA system, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto standard. I mean, tons of stuff that comes already with this car, already with the Lusso package. And then you just up the ante with a couple of different options. So after seeing the options and what the Lusso has to offer, is it worth it for you guys for the upcharge? Now, the base price, I mean, with it being an all-wheel drive, is gonna add an extra two grand for that all-wheel drive system. That suspension system is a little different as far as setup. It's also gonna add a little extra weight, which you don't care if you're getting the Lusso model. If you guys were to take this with these options, is it worth it for you guys to have that driver assistance package is it worth it for you guys to have the Lusso package? Would you add a sunroof? Would you change the color? What do you guys think about what this has to offer as far as everything that the Stelvio TI Lusso entails? I really think that the luxury model is it's supposed to have all the nice leathers and the nice touches with the oak wood. It's supposed to have the nice chrome on it. It's supposed to have all the great features and technology. So I think Alpha did a nice job with this specific model and i think that you guys will like this whole setup now i know that some of you aren't a fan of the wheels as you said in the last video showing off the sport wheels some of you said on a visconti green that those would look awesome i think so as well but hey that's the beauty of it we're gonna get more cars in i'm gonna be able to show you more specs more features everything that we're missing today we'll see on another model so that's the beauty of all of this, guys. So give me your honest opinion, guys. What do you think about the Lusso? Would you rather the Sport or would you take the luxury model? Now, with that said, if you guys enjoyed the video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up, helps get it up in the rankings. More people can see it and we can have a bigger discussion on this 2020 Alfa Romeo TI Lusso all-wheel drive. Now, with that also said, if you want to help support the channel, make sure you check out the links down below. I do have a one-time link donation for my PayPal. In case you guys want to click on that, you can donate a dollar or two to the channel. Just help support your boy. Or you can do the Patreon subscription as well, and you can do a monthly subscription there. Now, with that said, you can also check out the Ron's Rise merch. Where I have my t-shirts, stickers, coffee mugs, everything like that, Ron's Rise. If you want to help support the brand, make sure you check that out. 
or just follow my social media where I'm posting all kinds of Maserati Alpha Male stuff from the dealership, from everywhere else, news, uh, rumors, uh, leaks, uh, renders, everything like that on my social media pages. So you guys can follow those as well or just subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can catch more Ron's Rides videos and get them straight to your inbox as soon as they come out. With that said, guys, be blessed. Thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate your time, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rides video. Peace.